Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all. This is Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday for y'all. Uh, TGIF fish segment of the week. And you see, it ain't no fish, it's shrimp. All right, y'all. I'm still doing my, uh, I think last week I did fish. This week I'm doing some, what I think everybody loves. If you don't love it, I don't know what's wrong with you. Tempuro shrimp. You know the shrimp like you get in the Asian, uh, Asian uh, restaurants, that nice, uh, light, crispy crust, tempura style. I'm gonna do shrimp. I did catfish one day uh, already, and I'm gonna show y'all. This is what I use. Like I told y'all in the previous video, go to your Asian store. Some regular stores may have it, but I know the Asian stores have it. Get you some Kikimon tempura batter. Kikimon Japanese style tempura batter mix. It is the best thing on the market, y'all. I'm telling you. It's better than homemade. You don't hear me say that much. The thing is, it's so consistent. And this is what we use at my job, where I worked for for 34 years. This is what we use. So what you just see me did, I seasoned my shrimp. These are 1620 shrimp. Let me explain the shrimp thing, because people don't know what that number means. That means that's how many shrimp is in a pound. If you get a pound of 1620 shrimp, it's about 16 to 20 of them in that bag. If the, the larger the number, the smaller the shrimp. Remember that. The larger the number, the smaller the shrimp. So if you got shrimp that's 41 50s, it's going to be 50 little shrimp in there per pound. The smaller the number, the bigger the shrimp. So if you got U10, U8s, U5s, U12s, they're going to be big shrimp. So just if people don't realize what that number mean on that bag there. So what I'm gonna do, I got my shrimp seasoned. I got in the deep fire heating up. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm through with this. Now, the Kiki mine is very, very simple. You do one to one. I got a cup of, uh, I got a cup of uh, the tempura batter in here. I got a cup of ice cold water. I even put ice cubes in and let it melt in there and just mix that up. That's it. I don't like to set, let it set by 10 minutes, kind of let it marry together there. And that's it, y'all, to this stuff. That's how simple it is. Like I say, if you do the batter, kind of let it set up by 10 minutes and kind of, it's going to kind of slightly thicken on you. Just a little, but not much. But you don't want it too thick. That's why I say it, it, it's preferably measured. Just don't hide it. But you don't want that thick, uh, batter on your shrimp. You want that nice thin crispy batter on your shrimp when you fry it. So anyway, I'm going to let this hang out. I got some uh, Kikimon also in here. I'm going to dust this in with the shrimp but then dip it in there. That way the batter will stick to the shrimp. If I just stick the shrimp in here, the batter going to kind of slide off. I need some glue. So I'm going to dust it in also in the Kikimon the same tempura batter. I'm gonna dip it in there and then fry it off. I'll show y'all that step in a second. But we're gonna let my fryer heat up here. And once it get hot, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some tempura fried shrimp, y'all, with some, I'm gonna get some sweet chili sauce. It's gonna be on. TGIF, fifth segment of the week. Just getting started, be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, let's get started here, y'all. Let's get this party started. Okay, got my thing hanging out there now. Got my, in my season, my shrimp, we'll kind of mix it up here. Mix it around in there, can't kind of get them all seasoned up. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them all in this bag right here. Throw them in the bag here with this nice tempura flour. And you can use regular flour too, but I think this is making double better. Fold this up here. Mix them around in there really good, y'all. Now, all I'm going to do, make sure y'all can see this, because like I can say Dylan's not here this week. Okay, yeah, I can see it. Okay. I'm going to just put them in the, I'm going to do a few here and then show y'all, and then I'm going to step off and finish them off. Take them, put them around in there. And I don't put the tail in the batter, y'all. It's just something I don't like to do. I like to keep the tail clean. Put them just like that, y'all. One more. Do about two or three more. Then I'm gonna step off here and show y'all when they come out. I'm gonna put them on a sheet pan with a rack. 
when they come out. And like I said, if y'all don't have a deep fryer, it's okay. Don't don't fret. You can do them in a skillet with a lot of oil, just like you fry chicken. Same way. So I'm gonna do a couple of more. Then I'm gonna step off. I'm not gonna put them all at one time because they these crimp don't take long. So by the time I get them all in here, the other ones will be done. So gotta kind of do little at a time. All right, y'all. So get them frying off. I'm gonna come back here when they're ready and show you the finished product. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Look at this, y'all. Nice, beautiful shrimp here. See that? Nice, beautiful shrimp. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let these kind of drain a little. Then I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna move my fry out the way, get them plated up, and we're gonna try these nice, crispy, golden shrimp. Y'all see how easy I made this, y'all. It's no no nothing at all to these. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back here in about shoot, half a minute for y'all YouTube time. I'm gonna clean up in here, look a little organized, and we're gonna come back and eat some fried, uh, tempura crispy fried shrimp. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, check out this plate. A restaurant quality. <coughs> look at that. Restaurant quality tempura shrimp. Nice and crispy. Let me get a platter here just to cut one on here. Should have had the platter out, huh, y'all? I'm usually organized, y'all. Excuse me, I ain't organized today. Okay, move y'all over here. Take this one right here. Listen to this. See how crispy that is? See how perfectly cooked? Perfectly cooked inside, y'all. Dip that in there. Tweet chili. I like tweet chili, tweet chili sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Properly cooked, y'all. Properly cooked shrimp. Like I said, see the bread not too thick. Put that restaurant. You go to Vegas, it's gonna cost you fifty bucks in Vegas. A regular restaurant, that's twenty-five bucks, and you're only gonna get six. I got way more than six on there. One more. Look at. Mmm. 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 It's good, y'all. Mmm. Good eating here. Mmm. Definitely hot. Good. Very easy. Simple. Recipe. Like I told y'all, this summer, I'm mailing it in, y'all. I'm doing easy recipes this summer. Because they ain't going to be in the kitchen all day. It's going to be a lot of instant pots, air fryers, mixes, pre-made mixes, except cake mix. I still do doing my cake mix every, usually every Friday. But anyway, y'all, go to the agent store if you got one in your area. Keep them on. Can't fear batter. It's the best on the market. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my social media channel. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and old school soul food .com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.